Welcome to Design and Presentation channel. Today I have one more tutorial for you. I am going to show you how to make this animated list of items in Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a clean and uh, simple design. You can use this as an alternative to the bulleted way of presentation. You can download this template from the Google Drive link which I have provided in the description below. Now I am going to take you through the steps through which I have prepared this presentation. These are individual lines which I have inserted from the shapes library and I have changed the color from the drawing tools. Now go to insert tab and select a circle. Place it on the slide and change the height and width to 0.2. Once you have done that, change the color and the shape outline accordingly. Now place it on the joints of these lines. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the circle. Repeat this process for the rest of the joints also. After that, insert a hexagon from the shapes library. Enter the title. Change your font. And adjust the width to fit this into one line. Now go to format and change the shape fill and the shape outline. Select no outline. Now duplicate this. Enter 1. Select a darker shade for this and place it to the left hand side. Now move it backward. Select this shape again. Make it left aligned. That's it. Now select these two shapes together and group it. Once you have created this first element, you have to duplicate it and change the titles for the rest of the points. Now enter the text which you want to add corresponding to each of these titles. So this is already written. So what I will do, 
I shall insert the text box. And copy the text from here. Sorry about that. Insert the text box again. Paste it here. Decrease the font size to 16. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this and place it against each of the points. Now once you have completed the text portion, all you need to do is to provide animations to this. So first, select this circle, go to animations and click on lines motion path. Select the endpoint of this motion path and place it onto the second circle. Open the animation pane by selecting the option from the animations tab. Here you can view all the animations particular to this slide. Now select the second circle and add the line motion path again. Again change the end point of this motion path and th repeat this similar thing for the rest of the circles. Change the end point again, select the next circle. Now select all these animations from here, right click and go to effect options. Change smooth start to 0, smooth end to 0. And right here, 0.4 seconds. Now change the duration to 0.5 seconds of all these animations. Now select these groups where you have written the titles. Select flying option from the animation step. 
again right click go to effect options give 0.4 seconds against the bounce and setting Now select these two groups which are on the higher side on the, or on the upper side and change the direction of the flying animation. So this should be from top and same for the fourth point change the direction and this should be from top. After that place this animation after this select start after previous option and repeat this for the other groups as well once you have done this you need to animate the text corresponding to each of these points. So again select these text boxes, select flying animation, change the duration to 0.75, right click and go to effect options. Give 0.4 seconds for the bounce and settings. Again, for the text boxes which are on the higher side of the fluctuating line, change the direction of the animation. Now place this animation against the corresponding groups. This will be start. Select start with previous option. Now press Shift F5 and let us view the animation. You have to change this to start after previous and you can again view the animation. And here we go. After that uh, you can insert these icons from the icon library which is an uh, inbuilt uh, library of Microsoft PowerPoint. So what I've done, I've selected these icons from that library and uh, changed the colors from the format tab present here. So you can change the color to liking from this graphics fill option. So that's it. To my opinion, it's a useful template if you want to show an animated list of items. You can uh, download this template from the Google Drive link provided in the description below. In case you have any suggestion, you can of course comment. For more such designs, watch my other videos. And uh, lastly, I would request you to subscribe to show your support for this channel. Thank you.